All right, it's time for another episode of Connecting Through Magic. For this one today, you're gonna need a confederate. You're gonna need someone who's in on it. You're gonna need a helper, an assistant, someone who will help you read minds. Yes, this is a mind reading trick, and it's uh, using a principle about coding something to your partner without anyone knowing it. So this is one I'm going to teach you without performing it because I, I can't do it. So you need nine cards. You're going to lay them out like this in a grid fashion. It doesn't matter what the cards are. You can actually use magazines. You can actually use, um, you can use, um, you can anything. You can use books. You can use, um, socks. You can use whatever. So the cards and magazines tend to be the easiest, or books, big books. You lay them out on the floor. I mean, it can play big. Pack small, play big. So, here's what it is. You've got, you've got your, uh, the magician or the mind reader, the mentalist, is going to step outside of the room. Let's say, I'm going to play the part of, <clears throat> I'm going to play the part of the assistant, but people don't know that I'm the assistant. So, you got that laid out. The guy, st uh, the mentalist, uh, male or female, I said guy, but male or female, they step out of the room and you have, you have someone decide, they pick one of the items. So let's say I'm going to pick the Jack of Diamonds. So that's this card. I'm going to pick the card that's up here. I'm going to turn it face down just so you know that's the one I pick. Does, but you don't move it. You don't do anything. You just, that, that's the one I pick. So, they come, the mentalist comes back in, and he's, or she is looking at the cards, and you say, so I'm the assistant. I am going to ask them one question, and they will know what card was picked. So we're here, and I will say, um, is this your card? And they'll say, or is this the card that they thought of? And they'll say no. And so from there, it's all by play. It's all where someone, they can come in and they can turn over all the cards that weren't picked or they can just, they say, no, I, that's, you know, you're just trying to lead me astray. Um, this is the card they picked. Now, how is it done? Um, it's done because so this is laid out in a three by three pattern nine cards which interestingly enough fits really well on an imaginary grid on this card for example so if i if i was going to pick the let's say we were going to pick the ace of clubs on any other card here you were going to point to the place that mirrors where that card is. For example, if I was gonna pick the queen of spades, and here, what I would do is I would touch, I would touch right here because the queen of spades is right there. Uh, another way is that if I was going to do the six of hearts, I could point to the Jack of Diamonds right here. That makes sense? I think it does. Um, you will view, here, you know what? Uh, and you, you will view this, so it's just divided up into three. So if, you, if the books were laid down, like, so if I was to pick this one here, I would touch on the card down here. If I was gonna pick here, I would touch here. Here, I would touch there. The center card, center of this card. This card here, this card here. 
you wouldn't mind that card is it would be here and so but here so if I wanted to touch here there or if that was the card that was picked I would touch here it's using this as a map you know, like if this if someone picked the six of hearts I would say is this your card no, and they would know that this was the card. If they picked the Jack of Diamonds, I could say, is this your card? Every single card is viewed as a map of this entire grid. All right, so I think I've, um, hopefully that's clear enough. It is a fun trick. It is one that you can do two or three times. When you do it two or three times, don't use the same card, you know, and so, they, they decide they pick here, or you got the magazines, and they pick the magazine. Um, the next time they come in, let's say it's the Ace of Clubs, and you said, is this your card? And they know it's the Ace of Clubs because you're at this corner. Next time they come in, don't, don't point to the same card because they, they might notice you're pointing to a different place. Point to a different card and go. So if they pick the Six of Hearts, then you would use a completely different card just because it changes it up enough that it would be hard to follow. So there you go. That is a fun trick to do. It's a mind reading using a confederate, using someone who is in on it. And I hope you enjoy it and you get a lot of fun from performing it. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you tomorrow.